The next question is what is Crow's entropy and why it is preferred as a cost function for multi-class classification type of problems. So cross entropy, which is also known as a log loss, it measures the performance of a classification model that has an output in the terms of probabilities, which are values between zero and one. So whenever you are dealing with classification type of problem, let's say you want to classify whether an image is of a cat or a dog, or an, the house can be classified as an old house versus a new house, in all those cases, when you have these labels and you want the model to provide a probability uh, to each of those classes per observation, such that you will have as an output of your model that the house A has 50% probability of being classified as new, 50% probability of being classified as old, or the CAD has 70% probability of uh, uh, being a CAD image, or this image has a 30% probability of, of being a dog image. In all those cases, when you are dealing with this type of problems, you can apply the cross entropy as a loss function. And the cross entropy is measured as this negative of the sum of the y log p plus 1 minus y and then log 1 minus p where y is the actual label. So in binary classification, this can be, for instance, 1 and 0, and then p is the predicted probability. So in this case, the p will be then the value between 0 and 1, and then the y is the corresponding label. So let's say a label 0 when you are dealing with a cat image and label 1 when you are dealing with a dog image. And the mathematical explanation behind this formula is out of the scope of this question, so I will not be going into that details. But if you are interested in that, make sure to check out the logistic regression model. This is part of my machine learning fundamentals handbook, which you can check out. And this one includes also logistic regression, which explains step by step how we end up with this log likelihood function and how then we go from the products to summations after applying the logarithmic function so we get the log odds and then we multiply it with the minus because this is the uh, negative uh, of the uh, likelihood function given that we want to ideally minimize the loss function and this is the opposite of the likelihood function um, and in this case, what the showcase is, is that we will end up getting a value that tells how well the model is performing in terms of classification. So the cross entropy then will tell us whether the model is doing a good job in terms of classifying the observation to a certain class.